Hey, hello friends. So in this blog, what we are, we are going to see is the action tab of, of the SSAS and, and what is the flexibility and the different options that it provides. So when we have a data and we have a cube ready, the mesh and, and we try to mine or perform analytics uh, on the various measures and dimensions, uh, there are a few actions that we would like to uh, uh, take. I mean, uh, say for example, we would like to search the internet for, for a particular uh, value of, of a dimension or we would or we, we would like to see some uh, intricate details about the data which is being mined uh, for example maybe we would like to know uh, for, for a product by category we would like to search the the uh, product uh, over the internet or for a particular sales amount we would we would want to know what was the product color and, and, and this and the size that was sold for that particular uh, sales uh, apart from that, we would like to have a report uh, for, for, for uh, a particular uh, value that we are trying to perform analytics. So these are various options that the, anal uh, that the action tab provides us. So in this blog, we would, uh, we would uh, try to look at the actions uh, tab and the various options that it provides. And let's try to uh, drill through, uh, get into the actions tab and let's see what we can do with this. To, go, to start with, let's try to have a, a URL link. Uh, action so let's uh, click on a new action let's call it or maybe internet search I call it INT search and then what you see is the uh, target type so target type gives gives you the various leaf level members or, or the detail on which uh, you would you would want to perform that uh, that URL search or whatever so basically if you have cells those would be the measured values numeric values on, on, on the cells then you can have a cube dimension members hierarchy members uh, and, and, and the leaf level members so let's go with the hierarchy members for this example and let's use a target object we can go with the product uh, maybe and let's use product by category uh, then you have some conditions which uh, which will allow you to filter for this uh, demo let's leave that blank uh, next we go with the URL type we want a URL search and the action expression so for this action expression I would be using the Bing for my search I just put that and I, I pass on for the URL I pass the product by category for the current member to be searched so uh, in this uh, action so let's process this now and let's see what we have just done clear the results reconnect my browser and let's go with maybe internet sales yeah internet sales sales amount and maybe product by category so what I see is bikes here right click you see an option which is INT search when you click on this you are directed to the Bing and it, it opens up for the search of bikes so next maybe let's go with the mountain road and touring bikes so maybe I would like to take a look at the road bikes so let's right click and there you go what you see here is uh, the search results for, for, for your road bikes so that's is that is what we have just configured in the action and we have redirected to the URL uh, and the search so that that was one example now let's take a look at the drill through option and what does that provide uh, so let's use the second option which is a new drill through action so it, it gives you uh, a name drill through action here you give the measure groups on, on which you would want to drill through so the measure groups on which we would uh, want to do that maybe reseller sales fine uh, and maybe we would like to know the product and its product color size so as uh, unlike the name drill through it's it's not actually uh, going to touch your rdbms database as such it is going to uh, do or, or portray the values which are already there in the cube so so uh, don't be misled by the uh, the name it's not going to hit your rdbms during the drill through action so yeah so that's uh, the drill through action we have configured that and, and let's say let's process this again so 
we have configured a drill through action as well uh, I clear the results I refresh or reconnect it over again and let's go with the reseller sales amount and let's try to use ship date so we have uh, the ship date and let's okay for for calendar semester 2 we have this amount we want to know the product uh, that was sold so you right click and you see a drill through action when you click on this what you get is the products the color and the type of the product which was sold so when when you look at these the, the size the product color and the product name that was sold so you, you get that so this is simply going to drill through and, and give you uh, a detailed level level of uh, view for for the data which is which is there uh, on the aggregated cell value so this was a brief example of of the different type of actions that that we can have uh, and, and our SSAS provides us there is another uh, of of which is is of a uh, of a reporting action but uh, since we have not yet you know uh, gone with the SSRS as such so I, I leave uh, this for the next time maybe uh, so for now I hope I have been able to explain a brief demonstration uh, I have I've been able to give you a brief demonstration of the actions and how it is uh, helpful and how it can be configured on SSAS uh, so for time being we call it peace thank you